Hey guys, what's up? Toba Logo here. Welcome back to our UEFA Euro 2008 qualifying run with England. We're in part two. And if you didn't watch the first part, I highly suggest you watch the first one before you watch this one. Unless you don't care, then you can just watch this one if you want to. But we are here with England. We are not in a brilliant position as we found out in the last video. If we go to our group, we are third with 11 points. But Belgium and Norway have games and hands on us. So yeah, it's going to be tough because... A lot of these nations I underestimated, but hopefully, because we just beat Ukraine 3-0 in the last video, then we can build on that. Against Estonia for our first match, we got to play Estonia twice in this video. Getting that result against Ukraine in the last video, drawing against them and then win winning against them, has now meant that we got a slightly easier opponent in Estonia. So... Hopefully, we can actually do something here. They are a one-star team, but it depends what happens. We didn't really particularly play well against some of the one-star teams in the last video. If England want to qualify, they're going to have to literally beat everybody in front of them just to have any kind of hope because Belgium and Norway have games in hands and we can't really afford to drop any more points. Sol Campbell mops up the challenge i put sol campbell on because i figured why not but look at this oh close by estonia we're having the same game as we did against the pharaohs where we can't seem to get our rhythm in front of goal because estonia are being stingy i mean fair play to them but we are just absolutely shocking in front of net Crossed in by Estonia and that was a let off. That was an awful header by Estonia. And yet again, England are struggling. Struggling again. Is there a chance? No, of course not. Clavin blocks it again. He's been a brick wall in this game. Don't remember him being that good for Liverpool. Through ball to Sean Wright Phillips. The defence has pushed up too much. Is there a goal here? No! Another shocking performance from England and another foul. What is this game's fouling system all about? We had this in the last video where you touch a defender and it's like, yep, foul. So dumb. Rooney passes it to Sean Wright Phillips. Crossed in. Header. Oh my goodness. Michael Owen missed a, br like a brilliant chance and we draw against Estonia. We don't deserve to qualify. I'm going to say it right now. We don't. We don't. I hate England on this game. I hate them. They are terrible. We are two points off the top spot with Belgium and Norway having a game in hand. So, yeah, I mean, we're still in it, but we don't deserve anything, man. We don't deserve anything. We got Belgium here right now. Why is Michael Owen out here? Honestly, where is my players in the box? Crossed in. It's Rooney. No, of course not. Can't have a gold striker just shooting from there, can we? Gerard, unlucky. Crossed in. Header by Belgium. Good save by Robinson. I mean, we are just getting outclassed here defensively. Like, like the defence for England just doesn't want to play. Through ball by Belgium. Defour. Come on, get in front of him. Stop changing my player. You stupid game. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Dembele scores and it's 1-0 to Belgium because I was trying to get Ferdinand in a position where I could, like, intercept that sort of thing. But instead, the game was, like, insisting that I would switch to John Terry. That is never a foul. Like, what? How does a man get injured from that? Well, horrible first half. We're losing against Belgium, who we know are pretty, like, bang average, even on the brink of bad, because we already used them in a qualifying campaign. So, obviously, the problem is me. I can't actually score on this game properly. We need to cross it in. Owen's not going to get there, dude. Gerard, my goodness. Steven Gerard, just stop. To stop being terrible when you... He's so inconsistent. That's a good ball by Rooney. Michael Owen. Unlucky. Rooney. Yes. Lucky as anything there though. And Rooney has scored again to make it 
One one, and he does the robot for some reason. I forgot you can do that on this game. It's actually like one of the longest celebrations you can do. I remember actually, if you do it online, the um, people will get so annoyed at you. Michael Owen to Rooney, he gets like thrown to the ground, no penalty. Yet the AI get fouls that are literally non-existent. The Faroe Islands are currently holding Norway to a 2-2 draw. That's good for the group. That means if I come away here with a draw, it means that we'll be in within one point, I think, of... No, two points still, sorry. Well, uh, quite frankly, another terrible result for England and perhaps Belgium as well, because Belgium are way better than us in this qualifying group, and yet we drew against them. But England have just been terrible. Another draw. And honestly, I don't even want to qualify anymore. I don't because I don't want to have the hassle of doing another gameplay with England. Currently, we are three points behind Belgium, but Norway have a game in hand. So Norway could top the group if they win their next match. So we have got Malta next and an opponent that we did beat last time, but we did struggle in the first half. Into the middle. And yes, that's a goal. Who was that? I think it was Joe Cole with that goal. And that's 1-0 to England. A nice sweat goal. I didn't think it would actually like work out, but it did. And we're 1-0 up in the 14th minute. This is more like it. Through ball to Rooney. It's Rooney down to Crouch. And that is a second goal for England. And it's 2-0. Two little sweat goals, but I don't care. I need a result here. Just need something to get the confidence back in this side. Half time, 2-0 up. And uh, yeah, not really much to say. It's against Malta, so we should be winning it. Peter Crouch, yes! Come on! That was a good ball by Rooney and Peter Crouch has scored another one to make it 3-0. I mean, England can do this against Malta, but not against Estonia? It just doesn't make any sense. Running. There's no chance you're going to catch up Rooney. No. Into the box. It's Gerard. Yes, that's number four for England. And that is game over. 100%. Steven Gerrard slots it in. And he's been all right in this one. Inconsistent in the whole qualifying campaign. But yeah, he's been all right in this one. Rooney has been exceptional, though, throughout the entire like campaign. And, you know, his goals and assists are essentially carrying England. Joe Cole, he's literally sped his way through everybody. Insane solo run to score that, and that's five. Joe Cole has scored another one for England, and it's 5 0. 69th minute in, and that was an insane solo run to take it off two defenders and just do that. Incredible run. That's going to be game over. England win 5 0 against Malta. This is the results we actually need. Not like stupid 1-0s and stuff against minnows. 5-0 is the standard for England against sides like this. Okay, so we've got a few more games to play. And uh, England are still sat in third. But we're level on uh, games played with everybody. And we are three points behind Belgium. One point behind Norway. So if Belgium or Norway slip up, which I'm hoping they will then England will go through if England can just finish off against the Faroe Islands, Estonia or Norway in their last matches. We have got the Faroe Islands away from home for this match. The last time we played them, they gave us a super, super frustrating game. So can we actually beat them convincingly here like we did against Malta? Is there a chance? It's crossed in. Rooney, oh, over the bar, unlucky. Here comes David Beckham out on the wing. How many people are in the box? Just the one. It's Peter Crouch off the bar. Peter Crouch tackled straight away. Like, I didn't have any chance to go forward or anything. And this is what happens when a team like the Faroe Islands will just lock down on defence. It is hard to get past a team like this when it's like this. Like, England just don't know how to tackle against the Faroes. We saw it at Wembley in the last video. Rooney to Joe Cole. Cross that in. It's blocked again by the Pharaohs. Please stop being so try-hard, Faroe Islands. Crossed in. Peter Crouch doesn't header it. Again, where is the real-life traits? And again, not a decent ball. Joe Cole. Rooney. No. 
<laughs> this England team is so awful at times. It's getting hassled already by so many Pharaoh defenders. And Rooney doesn't head a lovely. I love that. It's Rooney. And it's blocked again. Just shambolic by England. And that was a block. That should have been a corner. Stupid game, dude. This is just, again, another awful result for England. Awful, awful, awful all the way through. Because we can't get past the Pharaohs. Norway have got the winner pretty much against Malta. Of course they do. But we're struggling against the Pharaohs. Hooray! I love this game where it's like, yeah, I'm going to tease you and get qualification. No, no, because the Faroe Islands, the Faroe Islands are going to knock me out. What a terrible result. I give up. I give up with qualification. England are a disgrace. A disgrace to this game. A whole, like these players are on millions of pounds a week and they couldn't beat the Faroe Islands. That is essentially qualification over. I'm so disappointed. I am so disappointed, man. Because how do you even drop points against the Faroes like that? Look at this. We're three points behind Norway. There's only about two games left. We've got to play Estonia and Norway. It's not happening, guys. It's not happening. Steven Gerrard is now a gold-rated player. I don't know how he's on that much form after drawing against the Faroe Islands. But, all right, this game is just completely altered my brain chemistry so we're against Norway at home can we actually do anything here please like I'm begging you England I'm begging you through ball to Sean Wright Phillips is there anything on for England right now crossed in no like for some reason England just don't want to attack they've given up there's no attitude there needs a reset this squad needs a hard reset Whoever takes over for me as manager in the future, obviously in this real timeline, it would have been Fabio Capello. Just awful. Like, disgrace of a squad, this squad. Look at this. They've, they're they going to score. Oh, yeah. Disgraceful. I give up. I give up. I literally give up. I couldn't clear it. And, yeah. I know England didn't qualify in real life, so... Of course, it would kind of be a bit realistic. But this group is way easier than the group that England had in real life. Going forward, we're lacking goals in the last couple of matches. Defensively, terrible. We've lost so much rating in defence that we can't actually tackle. We can't tackle Norway. And I don't know what it is about Norway on this game. But for some reason, they're playing like Real Madrid. And it's like, yeah. A nation that didn't even qualify and hasn't qualified for a major tournament since like 2002. Look at this defending. Like we're just letting them stroll through. It's terrible. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, yay. Oh, Paul Robinson makes a mistake just like he did against Croatia. And that is 100% signed, sealed and delivered. No qualification for England. Through ball to Michael Owen. It's a chance. And he scores. Good goal. There is time to get back in the game, but it's not going to happen, is it? It's just not going to happen. Michael Owen scores, and it's just been a horrible, horrible result. Out to Sean White Phillips. Is he going to do anything? Probably not, because he's slow as anything. Norway tackle, Hangeland tackles him. Uh, really good tackle. Rooney's got it. Cross that in. And it's to the goalkeeper. Eight minutes and England will be eliminated from this tournament. This is the final opportunity. Joe Cole crossed in. That's over. Congratulations, England. You're terrible. We lost against another bang average team. And we can't even beat the Faroe Islands. We don't deserve it. Get off. Everybody is dropped for the next game against Estonia. Don't even care. Okay, everybody. I have officially gutted the squad and dropped every single player apart from Rooney because Rooney was actually good so let's have a look at England's lineup for
for the final game. And you're going to be in hysterics if you know anything about English players. We've got Ben Foster in goal. We have Wayne Bridge at right back. Jonathan Woodgate at left uh, right centre back. We have Ledley King, Nicky Shorey, Phil Neville, Gareth Barry, Michael Carrick, Stuart Downing and Emil Heskey up top. You want to see a terrible England squad? You're going to see it. I think I actually may have officially lost my mind because the lineup we start would never get anywhere close to an England team. Uh, maybe Carrick would have. Obviously Rooney and Ben Foster as well. Crossed in, Clavin blocks it. He, he did that in the first game, so he's going to do it all game today. He is. Frustrating uh, game. Need to get better at it. I really need to practice. A lot of people said in the comments on my last video that if you just keep twisting and turning, then you'll outmaneuver defenders. It doesn't seem to be the case because uh, they're going for on goal and they put it wide. But yeah, what I mean is they still tackle me and the crosses haven't really been that kind to me either. Rooney to Heskey. He's going through. Emil Heskey. No. Poom saves. God damn it. Oh, Heskey, man. Through ball. Gareth Barry is running through. Gareth Barry. He could get the goal for us. No. Again, Poom saves. What is it with the Estonia national team? Why are they so decent? Gareth Barry. Over the bar. <laughs> it's just shocking. Terrible England squad. But it's it's on purpose, man. It, it actually is on purpose. Like, if you haven't been able to tell already. Wow. <laughs> oh, this is a joke. This has to be a joke. Crossed in. Header. And Ben Foster doesn't even get it. Come on, cycling keeper. You're better than that. England at half time are 1 0 down to Estonia. If you can't tell in my voice right now, I am so defeated by this game. They're not even going for Rooney here. They know that he won't score because Poom will save it again. Go on, Estonia. Oh, they almost score. I'm actually rooting for Estonia in this one. I actually am. As England manager, I'd actually go and sit on the Estonian bench and be like, You're right, guys. Yeah, this team is. Awful, wasn't it? England are actually terrible. Last chance saloon for England. Otherwise, it's going to be a super embarrassing result. No, that's it. Game over. Loss against Estonia. England are confirmed trash. Absolute trash in 2008. Awful squad. Yet still, people call it the golden generation. Awful, man. So that was your second part of your England gameplay and I hope my pain in this gameplay was entertaining. I hope it was. I sacrificed my literally, I literally sacrificed my mental well-being to play that game. <laughs> like I really, I let's be honest, I need to get better at the game but also England aren't very good. Um, 2008 there was a reason why they didn't qualify and I've just found that out but anyway if you did enjoy this one then give it a like and subscribe keep it local as always thank you for watching and I'll see you again for the next video